Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope everyone's having a deadly one. Uh, another episode of the off-grid cabin built here. Uh, just to fill you in quick, it's uh, kind of a temporary living arrangement for me. I'm gonna live out here until uh, I have the funds to build the, the a, a bigger, maybe more comfortable type uh, cabin out here. Uh, so this is just a, a 10 by 10 with a six foot overhang loft and it's and it's that small because anything uh, 100 square foot or less so 10 by 10 uh, Don't need a building permit. Eh? So uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'll show you how things are looking in the plan for today here uh, So this is what the cabin looks like uh, It's nothing fancy at all. It's a it's a bush camp. It's not some uh, architectural masterpiece. I d design shit as I go and uh, lots of fuck ups along the way, but uh, it's all part of the game anyway. So um, uh, today I'm going to be building walls uh, around the top there for the loft uh, just so it's a little more comfortable there. I'm going to give myself some room and then I'm going to put an aggressive pitch either to an eight foot or nine foot high main beam that's gonna run the distance eh? Uh, and a little extra a little overhang um, and uh, yeah so I was initially thinking I would go with a pretty decent sized wall up top there and then a, uh, a more moderate uh, less aggressive pitch on the rafters but I realized that this cabin it's already so high eh? it's nearly eight and a half feet high as it is standing there now so if I if I go with those great big walls, it's just gonna look ridiculous, eh? So I think I'm gonna go build four foot walls and then uh, go to an eight or nine and that should be pretty darn comfortable. Uh, another thing here, I've, I've just got everything momentarily blocked up on rocks and uh, two by fours there, uh, just for the time being. The cabin itself is level and this here uh, overhang loft is relatively good enough level for the time being. Uh, I didn't realize how steep this was going to become, how big of a distance there was going to be here uh, initially. Eh? So I've decided to pull the trigger. I'm going to get some proper adjustable foundation blocks and use them on the front and potentially over here. This stuff here is not level at all. Uh, I'll have to, but like this stuff here, see the majority of it sits right on the skids pretty good, but uh, this stuff here just needs propped up get some rocks and put them there and then uh, on the other side of the cabin here I need to uh, I think I'll put some of them adjustable ones as you can see I got like 10 four by or two by fours there to hold her up it's kind of a mess but uh, I think I'll pull the trigger put some proper blocks there or uh, really uh, do the proper work there with some decent rocks uh, the back sides good there as well also got to order my windows in here pretty quick and uh, because I want to be living out here pretty damn soon. I got one exam left in a couple days from now and I'm done school and uh, off to fend for myself there anyway. So look at this mess here. I uh, picked up some proper size boards for once instead of slapping a few together to get the right lengths. I'm sure all the master carpenters in the comment section will be relieved with that. <laughs> me too. Anyway, scared the fuck out of all the tailgaters that were following me today. These damn things just flop around. I got um, uh, six uh, 12 footers and uh, and then there's six 16 footers. So how that's gonna work there, I'm gonna build one wall and it's gonna span the entire distance, 16 feet. Uh, so I'll need one on the bottom and two on the top on both sides. And then I'll build my 10 foot or whatever it is there. It's approximately 10 foot. Uh, out the front and back <coughs> and then my rafters will sit on top of those walls. Build my four foot walls. Uh, I'll cut chunks out of these here. I'll cut two chunks out of each eight foot board there. Um, uh, so 48 inches will be the total length. I'll have two boards on the top and one on the bottom is 45 inches or, or is four and a half inches. So if I cut them at 43 and a half inches, two pieces like this, slap them all together, I'm gonna have exactly four foot high walls all the way around. So that's the plan there. Uh, it's a windy, miserable day out today, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you. I don't know how well you can hear me right now. Uh, it's bound to rain here uh, quite soon here. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, put the camera on my head and take some footage there and show you real good here what I'm doing.
thanks for watching stick around okay so I cut all my pieces for my first wall there and I've just thrown them up there because I'm gonna build it right up top there uh, it's the best place I got to to build it there the best platform I have to work from so um, I got I cut these to 16 because they were about 16 and a half or whatever they were the long ones and then I cut a whole bunch of 43 and a half inches and uh, we'll just go 16 inches off center the whole way down Okay, so there you have it. There's the first wall all done up and ready. This is a 16 footer. Um, I hope that uh, I had you on the chest cam, I guess, there, hey, anyway. So uh, I know it's not ideal. I'd much rather have had it on my tripod, but it's so damn windy out here, eh? It, uh, I was blowing it right over and shaking like a, can't say that anymore. But uh, anyway, so this is all done here now. This is about all the framing I'll show you. I'll time lapse that clip for you there and uh, show you just show you the basics of how I'm doing things. Uh, I'll put a top plate on this once it's up uh, and I'll likely overlap them. And I'll show you that here too. But what I'm gonna do here anyway is I'm gonna take boards and run them up here to give me uh, a surface I'll run the boards from the bottom and run them so they come up higher here uh, so I have a surface to uh, place it on uh, like a rest so I can make sure everything lines up real good and so I, I don't tip the fucking thing over a eh? so uh, I'll do that here quick show you that and then uh, yeah hopefully I don't get blown off the fucking roof here well, so that's what I did with the boards. It'll just give me something to line everything up from. Uh, it kind of looks fucked. We'll try it out, see how she goes. Uh, uh, this way it won't fall over uh, down onto the ground there. And then uh, it'll line up nice, make sure everything's uh, in line with the bottom walls there pretty good. So anyway, uh, I'll put you on the old forehead camera, get you around here and hopefully get her moseyed. Uh, let you see what I'm doing here. Just make sure I uh, get
get some screws started because I'll be pretty strained once I'm lifting it up. Just helps out a bit. Uh, Okay, let's get this silly son of a whore lifted up there. Right deadly. Yeah, she's not heavy at all, it's kind of nice. If there was a day I were to fall off this cocksucker, it would be today. She's something silly windy out today, buddy. Okay, this is working damn good thus far. I think I'm all the way, make sure I'm Pushed all the way over. See, that's what's nice about it, eh? I'm lined right the fuck up. Okay, and that's how things are looking from the outside after the first wall's been put up. Uh, I'm glad I didn't make it any higher. That would've looked fucked. Uh, but, yeah. Pretty damn good. Just kind of get in front of it, get a visual for how things are gonna look when I have all these walls up. Yeah, she'll be pretty damn high, all right, but way of the road, I guess, anyway. Eh? Looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna add another support post in the center, too. Uh, I'm just not quite satisfied. I, I'm gonna need another one. There's gonna be quite a bit of weight. Uh, I th I'm not sure which wall I'm going to build next here, but uh, just keep giving it a shit, man. Stick around. <sighs> okay, still giving her, but slight change of plans here. Also flying the old Canada flag, being that it's uh, uh, Canada, uh, Canada Day here next weekend there, I think. Uh, anyway, so flying that all I'm missing now is the fuck Trudeau flag and we'd be, be set right up, huh? Anyway. Uh, I made a decision. I was thinking about it, thinking about it. Should I, should I not? I'm going to put the plywood on these walls now. Uh, initially, I was like, oh, it's not too bad. And then you get standing right here and you're like, holy shit. No, I don't want to be balancing four by eight slices of OSB that high. So what I've done here is because to line these up properly now, I have to assume that there's plywood here. So I took... I took little 3 8 slices and sandwiched them to my alignment boards here so that uh, it accounts for the 3 8 plywood that should be there. I should have already had that plywood up there, but uh, I want to get this roof done up here so um, so all my shit doesn't get rained on any longer. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do here. These are nice because they're exactly 4 foot. Well, they're not quite because I don't have the top plate on yet, but once I have the top plate on, but uh, so they're exactly 16 feet and exactly four uh, high. So um, two slices of plywood, you don't even got a cutter, huh? So uh, I'll throw some plywood up there. I'm just finished building the second wall here and it's about uh, seven o'clock there now or 7.30. I didn't get out here till real late today. But uh, yeah, so I'll take up a couple sheets there, bolt them up there and, and then put the wall up there like that. Okay, uh, I don't think I'll be able to get all these walls done here today, but I should have all day tomorrow, so stay tuned. Well, just getting wrapped up for the day here. Um, only got uh, two walls put up. Like I said, I got out here pretty late the way, so that kind of sucked, but um, yeah, a little bit of fucking around here and there. This thing is ridiculously high, but... Uh, might as well use the space I'm legally allowed without getting a, getting a building permit, eh? So that's why it's so ridiculously high. Because I need all the space I can get. I mean, in a 10 by 10, good God, I got way too much shit for that, huh? But um, yeah, so tomorrow is Sunday. So I'll work on that there. Um, I think it's about nine o'clock there now it's about that time it's the second longest day of the year anyway uh there's lots of daylight left but yeah 9 30. uh but anyway uh it's about that time where the bugs are so unbearable you can't even you can't even be out here it's just miserable just miserable um i'll have to get so tomorrow i want to get the other two walls done I, i'm nearly out of 
screws there, my plywood screws that I use. So I'll have to run, get some more of them there. Show you shit from above here. Uh, fuck. That's how things are looking there anyway. Looking pretty deadly. Like I said, I'll put my top plates on later. I got them secured pretty good. I don't want to bolt the piss out of them just yet because there's a possibility I might have to move things around and whatnot, hey? And uh, you see, I gave myself the room on the plywood to put that top plate on and then bolt it all up. And then my rafters will go from there to wherever up top there, eh? So yeah, that should all be uh, pretty good there. And then when I put my front walls in here off the edge, I will, uh, I'll give myself three and a half or actually, three and a half plus oh, i should account for the three eighths of plywood that's there out each side on the wall so that i can bolt that right up there too uh that'll be good and then uh also i will add another another board here on all four of them so i got more to bolt the walls together but uh we'll cross that bridge when uh we come to it so anyway i'm gonna mosey on home here well, I can still see the road. It's a long trek out of here, a real long trek. But uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. Another episode out here, trap lines and inlines. We're just a given her. Okay, uh, I said yesterday I wanted to be out here bright and early, get a good start on this and get lots of shit done. Well, it's three o'clock, not too good. <laughs> shit happens anyway. But as you remember, we got the sidewalls up there for the front. Um, Today, in the time that I do have, which isn't much, we'll get the front and back walls put on. Uh, shouldn't be too bad of a job. They're 10 foot, eh? They're 10 foot across. Uh, I'll build them both and I'll put plywood on them because they're so damn high up there. Build them both, put plywood on them, then uh, get them lifted up. This one's going to be a son of a whore to put up there. You can see why there. But uh, yeah, I'll do what I did yesterday, same wall framing tactics. Uh, I'll cut these into 10 footers and run the 43 and a half inches. And then from there, I'll put my top plates on because it's a lot easier to do it later. And I got to put another board to nail to. And it would be damn nice if I could get that third support post up. And I kind of have an idea what I'm going to do there, but uh, we'll just have to see there anyway. So um yeah let's start off one thing at a time here old canada's flying there loyal as fuck um but we'll put this front wall up here i'll start with the front one then uh work on the back one this one's not going to be that all that easy to put up either because uh there's not much to staple support boards to so i don't tip the fucking thing over but yeah that's what i'll start off with i'll put some boards up like i've done here to make sure I don't drop it over because Lord knows I'll be holding on to the fucking thing and all of a sudden she'll tap right over and I'll go off the top again. So uh, yeah, uh, stick around, let's get some shit done. Well, it looks like I'm in for a real fucking treat here. Uh, yeah, definitely getting fucked by rain. Anyway, I'm just putting the plywood down. I got her all lined up here for these this front wall. I got all the framing done there. I can't remember if I showed you it once it was done framing and then you see on each piece I gave myself three and seven inch, inch overhang so that way it'll line right up and uh, and cover this whole distance as well and then I'll bolt that on there and it'll uh, be nice and sturdy too and then uh, pretty soon there I'll be getting all my uh, top plates on I gotta get that back wall on first and I'm not looking forward to it because I'm gonna have to be lift in here i'm probably gonna have to put some boards across or something so i don't end up crashing down dropping the whole damn thing on myself anyway so stick around oh she's a fucking storm all right boys jesus christ had to get my truck out of here as soon as it started raining otherwise this ground here it's clay and it's steep you can't get out of here so ah uh, yeah Wish I had the roof on it right now. That's why I'm in such a hurry to get the goddamn thing on because it just doesn't want to stop raining lately. Anyway, stick around. I don't know how long I'm gonna be sheltered up here. I don't see clear skies for a long ways. 
Well, an hour later and there's finally some clear enough skies. Jesus, what a waste of time that was. Let's get back at her. Okay, so, nearly fell off the prick, but I got the front wall in there. Uh, everything lines up, looks deadly there. Uh, little slightly higher here. Other side's good and everything. Nothing I give much of a shit about anyway. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, I gotta build this next frame. Uh, I got my 10 foot pieces all cut down there already anyway. It's pretty top heavy, eh? <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, uh, it's gonna be a prick. I'm gonna have to jimmy rig some concoction to safely place this wall here because Jesus H, man, she's pretty pretty tippy right now like I gotta be standing right here in this big drop off to put the wall up eh so might be a bit of a prick no doubt but we'll see what we can't do here uh I'll build this frame first thing uh I've I've just tacked these in on the outside I haven't bolted it down but as you can see I got a bit of a sag in the center, and that's why I wanted to put that front post in right in the center before I piss around with bolting that in, eh? So down there, I'll cut another eight footer and put her in and uh, go from there. I don't wanna bolt that all in yet, but it should be good enough. Another storm like that rolls through, and might blow right over, but should be pretty good. So let's build this frame and go from there. Well, still giving her here. Everything's a muddy mess. I'm covered. It's uh, kind of sucks that away, but starting to shape up here real nice. The bugs will be out like a son of a gun pretty soon. Uh, just got that last uh, loft wall there put together. I got to put plywood on it yet. Uh, it takes a slice and a half or so. Um, all together, like these outside walls both took two on the sides and then the front and back one took a combined total of three so everything worked out pretty good also had to saw off i don't know how well you can see i had to take down a couple of these little poplars that were right here uh the leap branches were hanging into where i had to put this wall and they're going to be in the road for a long time should have took them down a long time ago so uh we're gonna lay this here wall up uh once i get the plywood on uh stick around okay so i finished up with this here wall and then I uh, went and built myself some ugly redneck uh, makeshift platform here. Uh, by how heavy this wall is, how slippery and muddy everything is, and how redneck this platform is, do not be surprised if I go crashing down anyway. But uh, let's see if we can get her licked. Ready to get all these walls up, ole. Okay, so I didn't die anyway, but I got the goddamn thing up there. Uh, quite a bit of work there, uh, nearly broke that a time or two, sketch as all can be, but yeah, this is how we're looking. So, uh, yeah, so I gotta put my top plates on, I'm going home now, I am starving, the bugs are brutal, uh, it's muddy as slippery, you know, and I got, I don't have enough time, like I wanted to, I'll, tomorrow I'll put the post in there and, uh, finish bolting everything down and, yeah so i'll do all that tomorrow here it's about nine o'clock anyway but uh yeah i got all the walls up they're tacked in they're pretty good um and then uh so i'm confident they're not going anywhere but uh i haven't bolted the piss out of them yet and then i still gotta put my top plates on which i should get around to pretty quick um another thing is uh yeah, everything lined up here real nice. You can see my corners, they're just mint. I added another board in on both sides, like I did with the other two. I think I forgot to mention that. But uh, like I said, those corners, mint. Uh, but yeah, it should be pretty deadly. And then from here, like this being exactly four foot high, I'll probably start my window right here, right at this height, and I think I'll go I think I'll put a small one on either corner because I don't want to put it in the center because I'm going to have all my support posts, like all my framing, all that structure shit for the main beam that's going to run the length of the prick. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I got a lot of planning left to do and uh, we'll have a nice kind of little workload there for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. 
Well, welcome back to another episode. Coming at you live. Our same episode coming at you live from the north where all it does is fucking rain. Jesus, man. I've been sitting in my truck an hour waiting for it to stop. It's been raining all yesterday. It's raining right now. The amount of bagging I had to do to get in here. Did a uh, front sway bar link delete on the old Cummins there on the way in. Pushed the bush and right through. That's mint. But uh, let's get to work. Jesus, it's a muddy mess out here. But uh, everything held up as it was supposed to there. First thing I'm gonna do here today is put in another support post up the center. And uh, how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna measure, find right dead center, put her up. And then I'll put a two by four the whole top distance and it'll come to the ends of the four by fours there. And uh, so I'll have to measure figure out where exactly dead center is and uh i'll have to cut a couple inches off an eight foot two by four there but uh stick around i'll show you when i get it up so uh here's your <clears throat> bit of redneck ingenuity for the day uh the center it was sagging just enough just i can't hear that i couldn't get the my whole t there brace underneath there so i took the old jack Put a uh, two by four up to one of the joists, lifted her just like half a pump of the jack, eh? And now she'll go in. Stay tuned. Yeah, that worked out pretty damn good there. Uh, the light's bad here, can't see worth a damn. But uh, yeah, put her up right in the center. And then uh, the boards come to the inside. I screwed them into the four by fours on the either side and bolted the piss out of them up. I only angle drilled the bottom section there for the time being, uh, but I will likely add some metal brackets there to all of them and uh, might even possibly lay uh, angled pieces there and support a bit more, but that's something I don't have to worry about for a while. It's getting, getting sturdy now for sure uh, and uh, didn't take long at all. I'm glad I did it because uh, there's a lot of weight up there. And uh, the main beam will set right on top of everything there. Put all the weight down to the center. So it's a damn good thing I did, I think. Anyway, uh, from here, I'm going to start screwing. I haven't finished screwing down all my walls, screwing them all together and whatnot. I'll start working away at that. And then, uh, and then I'll put the top plates on my walls and we'll have the whole upper walls finished there. Okay, so things are looking pretty good here. I got it all done here. Everything bolted down good. Uh, I got my to top plates on there. And I did, I overlapped them, eh? I overlapped, so, uh, like, this piece, this the top plate of this piece overlapped onto the next piece. I don't know how much that actually helps anything. I figured it certainly couldn't hurt. Uh, it's all good all the way around. Plywood is perfect all the way around. All my corners are real nice, and you look at her from down low, there's no gaps at the bottom, indicating that it's pretty damn good and level. Uh, I still gotta uh, level things off yet down there, like the deck and everything. All that stuff will have to be done soon. But uh, I need your guys' opinion, uh, kinda about this roof. Let me know what you think, exactly what I think, I think I should do with it. What kind of style of roof? Um, uh, how I should put my windows, uh, remember I'm on a budget, windows are expensive kind of thing, but let me know what you think. I was thinking about running just a 20 foot main beam from one side to another, and then going rafters all the way across, and then putting a window here and here on either side so that it didn't interfere right up the center with my main beam support there. Uh, but let me know, L give me your whole opinion there, everything you gotta say about it. I wanna get lots of opinion on that. Uh, the biggest thing basically, like, we're a long ways up here and it drops down here at the edge of where my cabin is, eh? So, it's really, really high where this is going to be. And uh, the biggest thing is being able to do it by myself. Uh, I'm out here all by myself. I got one dinky-ass ladder and this slippery ground and uh, doability, ease of build kind of thing is uh, one of the 
the biggest requirements there for this roof. But let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Uh, I ran out of longboard, so I did have to chop two up for this top plate. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Uh, it, it'll be fine for sure. Okay. Now I'll take you down, show you the whole view of the cabin there, give you a view from the outside. Okay. Now I gotta get this roof on because like it's been raining all day today and it's been r raining every single day. So I gotta get the roof on because it's fucking up my plywood, no doubt. Get down here. Here's how things are looking from all the sides there. Everything's looking real nice there. Like I said, still gotta level things off. Those are the two biggest things I need to get done right now. The foundation and uh, the roof because it won't stop raining. <coughs> but yeah, I really haven't done a whole lot here today. It's been muddy as can be and raining all day and it's my last day of school, eh? so I'm kind of taking it easy and enjoying the day. Feels good, finally done school. Last exam for grade 12 today, so feels good, no doubt. I'm excited now I'll have all day every day to work on this cabin. And uh, I really haven't spent that much time on this cabin here so far. I've literally spent more time making these videos than uh, working on this cabin. Like I've only got a handful of hours, you know. Uh, so once I got all day to do it, Jesus, it's going to go up pretty quick there. But, you know, there's always shit going on for me, so. Uh, before I let you go here, uh, I've had quite a few guys there real recently all at once kind of ask about merchandise and whatnot. I'll just kind of tell you all at once here. Uh, I do sell uh, shirts and hats for the Uplands and Inlines channel. Uh, you can see this one. I've uh, durability tested the piss out of this one. I wore like crazy, holds up good. But I got trap lines and inlines hats and shirts. And I don't push that merchandise upon my viewers too much. Like I've mentioned that I got it, but I don't say, hey, buy my shirt. It just feels wrong. But uh, I'll let you know here now. Uh, I put the links to that in my description. They're both on eBay there. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd mention that quick. But like I said, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully it didn't drag on too bad, but it's kind of been a piss around this whole episode here. It feels good to get it done. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and all the comments, the support, and all the continued support. It's been awesome. Been a journey. Thanks for watching. Till next time.